Hello everybody, I'm sad. Wow. Hello everybody, Jordan the Computer Scientist here, and I'm sad. So as we all know, math is hard. It's extremely hard. You know, after algebra, everything just kind of started going downhill. And even in algebra, I have failed it twice for some reason. It's not even hard. Obviously, I just wasn't paying attention. So then, finally past that, I get to pre-calculus, and then I get to pre-calculus part two, and then I get to calculus, and I'm just passing all those, and I'm like, oh wow, life is finally starting to go uphill. Then I take calculus two, and guess what happens? I have to drop the class. I have to drop it, because it just wasn't going my way. It really wasn't. It was terrible, you know? And I, I was kind of understanding it in the beginning, and I kept trying to follow it, and I, I would study for a test, and then I would take the test, and I would get a 60. And I would say, wow, maybe this just isn't for me. And maybe it just wasn't. This semester, I'm definitely gonna be trying again. Next semester, I'm going in, my head 100% focused, and I'm going to study every single day after class, and I'm going to pass. Now that I dropped a class, what am I gonna be doing? Well, I'm still gonna be practicing my computer science stuff, I'm still gonna be coding, I'm still gonna be posting projects, I'm still gonna be doing, I still have the computer science class, I have a B in that class, a high B. I have to get it back up, I have two tests today, so that's probably gonna go back up. And during my free time, now that I have it, because I quit my second job and I no longer have calculus too, I'm gonna to be learning all the stuff that I was weak at, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys what I learned, because remember, when you teach what you learn, that's learning, what well, it's studying. So yeah, every Friday, I am going to be uploading a math tutorial of some sort. I think I'm gonna start off with logarithms. And then once I get through all of log, I'm gonna revisit trigonometry. And then once I finish trig, I'm going into calc. I might revisit trig identities and some indifference formulas, but then I'm definitely gonna be in calc. And then after I hit calc, I'm gonna go over limits and derivatives and some other subjects that I can't 100% remember right now. And I'm gonna teach them to this camera. And then I'm gonna post it on YouTube and hopefully whoever needs help in math, I explain it well enough to where you can understand it and to where I can also understand it. And during calculus two, I'm gonna continue that entire process. Today in class, I learned this. And this is how you get here from here. And hopefully with all of that studying, I will pass next semester with a better grade because I will also be getting a tutor. After I finish calculus two, I'm gonna stop doing math tutorials unless like people actually like that and I end up liking math a lot more, then maybe I'll continue through either linear algebra calculus two or differential equations, whichever one I take after calculus two. And this is just to show you that I have failed. I have definitely failed, but I am not giving up. I don't care how many times it's gonna take me to pass this class, I'm not gonna give up. So if you're down in the class right now and you feel like giving up, don't give up. Try again next semester and we can try this together. We're both gonna go through this. We're both gonna pass and we're both gonna get this computer science degree and we're both gonna get this bag. Subscribe so you don't miss the video guys. Also leave a like on the video and comment and I will see you guys on Monday. And peace out.